Next up is Listen Loop. With a lot of fans. My name is Rodrigo, and I'm the co-founder of Listen Loop. I'd like to introduce you to Isabella. She's a product manager at Job Market, a firm that deeply believes in agile development. In fact, they're building and shipping code daily. But the problem is they can't talk to their customers as fast as they can code. They're still using traditional user research methods like emails, phone calls, and surveys, and those methods just can't keep up. Fortunately, she just heard about Listen Loop, and today she's going to add a conversation inside of her application. Let's see how. She's going to log in and be presented with a dashboard. She navigates to the top and adds a conversation. Now, Job Market recently released a new payments feature, and Isabella wants to understand, are customers satisfied with this feature, and what, if anything, can be improved about it? So she's going to title this conversation, Payments. Click Next, and she's going to decide to initiate this conversation inside of her web application when a customer interacts with that new payments feature. Now watch this. Isabella is going to open her application inside of Listen Loop allowing her to visually inspect where she would like to initiate this conversation by simply hovering over any element and right-clicking on it. No engineers required. With that, she is ready to move on and design the conversation. In this section, she is going to decide what questions she would like to use to open up the conversation. She clicks on Add Question, and she's presented with a variety of options. But today, she's going to add an open-ended question a multiple choice question, and she's going to ask the question she had initially. She can edit this live in the interface. She can reorganize them to her heart's content. And when she's ready, she's going to click on Finish and Review. Now, Isabella knows that she doesn't want to ask a question to every user all of the time. That would be pretty annoying. So watch this. She's going to click on Configure Rules, allowing her to control when and how to initiate these conversations. Right off the bat, she decides that she only wants feedback from people who are qualified to give it, those that have actually used that feature. So she determines that the person, her customer, needs to use that feature 10 times after logging into the product on five separate days. And she's going to control the conversation by determining that she's going to ask a question a maximum number of two times. And if they've already given a response, no more questions for that person. She clicks Update the Rules navigates to the top, and toggles the conversation on. It's that simple. Now I'd like to introduce you to Bob. Bob is a customer at Job Market, and he's navigating through the website. He's about to click on that payments feature for the 11th time. So pay attention. Listen Loop detects that behavior and initiates a conversation with Bob, asking him the questions that Isabella prepared. Bob, how satisfied are you with this new payments feature? And Bob says, dissatisfied. Immediately, the next question comes up asking Bob, what, if anything, can we improve about that new payments feature? And Bob provides his response. What can you do about late payments? It's really crimping my cash flow. Submits that response, clicks outside of the popover, and closes the conversation. With that, Isabella is going to log back into the Listen Loop dashboard a few days later to check in on the insights that she's been collecting. Immediately, she determines that a majority of her customers are actually dissatisfied with that new payments feature. And she needs to know why. So she navigates to the top, clicks on the open-ended tab, and here she sees individual responses associated to her customer's email address. But what's really impressive about this is that she just sent a survey to these folks a month ago and got less than 1% of them to open her email. On Listen Loop, she got over 40% response rates. Now she's looking at this information, and she starts detecting a pattern around the concept of a late payment. So she navigates to the search bar, types in late, clicks submit, and Listen Loop returns all responses with that keyword. This is incredibly valuable information because late payments are the top contributor to churn at Job Market. She, in fact, she needs to share this information with her team right away for that 3 o'clock meeting. She clicks on the share button at the top, top right, types a short note to her team, and clicks send. It's that simple. So it's no wonder that the team at Jog Market truly appreciates Isabella's work. She's able to capture the insights that she needs at the speed that they need them. But that's not all. 
Isabella is truly excited about kicking off the next conversation, measuring net promoter score every 30 days for each customer so that they can understand how their product changes are affecting customer satisfaction and loyalty. So if you would like to have similar agile customer conversations in your product, be it web, be it mobile, or even desktop applications, we invite you to visit listenloop.com and get your free account today. Thank you. OK, judges, feedback. My head hurts. I, d I listened intently, and I still don't know what you do. Is this like a, uh, some kind of a widget that you put into an application to get feedback from users? Sounds like you understood it perfectly. That's correct. It's, All like, right. it's like Optimizely, you just a widget you put in. Correct? In a sense, uh, Optimizely is focused on A-B testing. We focus on capturing in-app feedback around very specific customer behaviors. What, what's the pricing model? It's uh, monthly based on the number of monthly active users that our clients have. Do you, force an answer, this on. Do you force an answer before they can move on? I didn't see a skip, move on button. No, we don't. If they click anywhere outside of the question, it closes the conversation. Awesome. OK, let's hear it for Listen Loop. Well done.